when people book a ticket to Thailand, generally they're thinking about recreational activities. Think bars, think beaches, think hiking, think shopping, think other fun things you can do over here. There's a lot of that. But for us who work in the auto industry, it's all about the Bangkok International Motor Show. And now they're on their 45th edition. So let's go inside and check out what this show has to offer. The Bangkok Motor Show has always been a staple in our calendar. We at Auto Industry, we've been coming here for, I think, over 20 years now. How cool is that? And now they are on their 45th edition since Dr. Prachin started this a long time ago in 1979. So when you go to the Bangkok Motor Show, what can you see? Well, you can see all the major Japanese automakers and other automakers present in our region. You have Ford, Toyota, Mitsubishi, Nissan, uh, Mazda, Suzuki, Volvo, they all produce here in Thailand. In the last couple of years, and especially at this edition, we've been seeing a lot of Chinese automakers here as well. Just like in the Philippines, they're really coming into Thailand in force to try and capture a big part of the market share. They're even producing here. You've got Great Wall, you've got MG, you've got all the other automakers, Chang'an. They're all present here in Thailand. And this venue, Impact Challenger Hall, where they've been since 2011, it's huge. Think our World Trade Center Manila, but you know, multiply it by maybe 10. That's why we've become kind of used to it. I bring my trolley along so I can have my laptop, my camera there, all the stuff I need while I'm walking around without having to carry it on my back. That just makes life so much easier for us going to the show. And there are a lot of people who go to the show because over the two week run that this motor show goes on, it's around 1.8 million, maybe even close to 2 million that come and visit this over the two week period. They have great sales here. They have a lot of new model launches and lots of great deals. And this time it's the biggest one because it's the first time they're expanding to Hall 4, which is where they have some classic cars and supercars. You know what? Let's go check it out.
Man, the Bangkok International Motor Show is really getting better and definitely bigger. And judging from what we saw in Hall 4, lots of really nice supercars. It's cool to see all of that. But more importantly, we're seeing the diversity of Thailand's auto industry because it also shows what we're going to see in the future in the Philippines. Think hybrids, think more brands, think EVs, all that stuff, even the hybrid pickups. That one, we did not expect. Now, what's great about this show is that it's just more than a commercial show. We're seeing things that we haven't really seen before. Like for example, here, this is a race car uh, that they're going to build inspired by the one driven by Prince Bira back in the day. But more importantly, what's, what sets the Bangkok Motor Show apart is that it's really a labor of love, just like this Rolls Royce right here. Now, to any other observer, this Rolls Royce is just a symbol of luxury, of opulence, of grandeur. But this is a real love story behind it because it was once owned by the father of the wife of Dr. Prachin. So she rode in this one when she was a kid to and from school. Hiya, yeah, how cool is that? But what's great about it is that when it was sold, Dr. Prachin tracked it down for his wife and he found it over in the UK on the Rolls Royce registry. That's a long way away. He bought it, brought it back just for his wife. And that's what the back motor show is. It really is a labor of love and passion from Dr. Prachin and his team at Grand Prix International. So if you want to check out the Bangkok Motor Show on your own, well, you can always head on over here. This show runs for about two more weeks, but don't forget, you can catch the future editions of the show because I think they're going to have even more to offer by then.